Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasui, and the channel is my take on it with Dr. Victor Obasui. So today, I'm going to take you guys through a few eye conditions that uh, requires uh, immediate attention, which a lot of patients take for granted. Uh, most times when they come in, it's uh, almost too late. So I just thought, why not? Why don't I do this short video to, um, you know, bring this uh, to everybody's awareness? Okay, the first one I'm going to be starting with is a sudden fluctuation in vision. Most times, you find vision starts to fluctuate. One day, your vision is very clear. The next day, is um, it's blurry. The next day, is clear again. The other day, is blurry, and uh, this can keep going on. It's worse when you find that um, you, you have the urge to always go and pee, or the urge to always drink um, water. This, and this happens in, I'm talking about both eyes, when you have vision fluctuation in both eyes. This usually is not a glasses um, issue. It's a, it's a warning of uh, diabetes. I've had um, a case where I sent a patient in to the family doctor based on this uh, complaint, and the patient's uh, patient blood sugar was almost uh, 30, which means he was almost going to a diabetic um, coma. Good thing that he came for his eye examination, and um, luckily they sent him to the image, and they were able to bring the sugar down, and the vision came back to normal. So these are kind of uh, conditions that I think um, everyone should be aware of. So when you have your vision fluctuating every every now and then, with in both eyes, and you have the urge to go pee, you have the urge to constantly drink water. Get go to your family doc, go to your eye doctor, or go to your family doctor and have them check uh, check for diabetes. So the next one is when uh, you find suddenly that you have um, loss of peripheral vision on both sides. We're talking about patient looking straight ahead, and you find half of your field of view on this side is all gone, and half of it on this side is all gone. This is an emergency, as, because it means that. Um, there's what we call a pituitary adenoma or pituitary tumor compressing on the optic chiasma, which is the nerve that takes a, the nerve that links the eye and the brain together. This is an emergency that should be taken care of right away. It can easily take the brain can easily is a, is a brain tumor, so we all know what that what the end of that could be. So when you have, you wake up and suddenly you find that your peripheral vision is gradually going on both sides, go to your family doctor immediately or go to your eye doctor or go to the emergency. It is an emergency situation and should be treated as, a, as such. I will repeat again, it's a pituitary adenoma compressing the optic chiasma. So that's the second one. The third one is you wake up one day, start seeing flashing lights in your field of view. It could be one eye, it could be both eyes. Flashing lights, you just keep seeing it like flashes, flashes like uh, yeah, flashes like much like someone lighting a flash. So you see it on both eyes, and uh, even when the room is bright, the room is dark, you keep seeing it frequently. Go to your eye doctor immediately. Or go to your go to your family doctor. Or go to the image if you can't reach anybody. That by flashing lights could be an is, is most likely an indication of traction on the retina. It could be a warning for retinal detachment. So it's very good to have it checked. Flashing light can come from things like dry eyes, but it's not as frequent. Where you find everywhere you go, you uh, the light the flashes are always there. So that could be an indication of a retinal uh, detachment. Again, if you also see like black spots moving all over the place in your field of view, sometimes people tend to see it as black flies and they try to catch it. But um, obviously, these are not uh, flies. It's called floaters. Floaters by itself is not an emergency. But if you see floaters and you, you are getting flashing light with it, then run to your eye doctor's office and have them have it checked immediately. It's also a warning sign of a retinal detachment. Then, uh, if you see, you wake up and you're seeing 
uh, spots moving around and a red in color. That is another red flag. It has to be checked immediately. It means there's bleeding at the back of the eye. Red obviously means that there's blood. Uh, in the eye normally, you shouldn't be seeing uh, red. So obviously, if there's blood in the, in the vitreous, that's, that tells you that that's why you're seeing those um, red spots moving around. Or red, anything red that you see in your field of view, go and see your eye doctor right away. If your eye doctor is not opened at that time, go to the emergency. Have it checked right away. Again, it could be a warning sign for retinal uh, detachment or there's a break in the retina. So and that's why the blood is now able to get into the vitreous. So I'm going to go through it again. Flashing lights, black spots, both warning sign for retinal detachment. Then the main one, if you wake up one day and start seeing like cobwebs in your field of view, spider webs, like you see a spider web. So run to your eye doctor's office or to your family doctor and have them refer you to go see a specialist right away if you're seeing cobwebs in your field of view. It is very important. Cobwebs uh, by itself could also uh, be a sign of uh, posterior vitreous detachment or again, a warning sign for retinal detachment. It should be checked. It doesn't matter if you've seen it in one eye or seen it in the other eye. Go and have it checked right away. Don't waste time. Then the last part of it is when you see a black veil. You wake up one day, you see like a black curtain covering part of your field of view. You know, that indicates a retinal detachment. And the surgery has to be done within 24 hours for the best results. So you wake up one day and you start seeing a black veil. It's like a black curtain covering your field of view. You know, the vision may still be okay if it's not uh, covering your central vision, but uh, most cases it will cover it. So you find either the, uh, you just can't see at all or there's a black curtain covering your field of view. That is retinal detachment and the surgery has to be done within 24 hours. So do not take that for granted. So then again, another one, sometimes you wake up, you find a um, patient wake up with severe, this severe headache and, uh, you know, it's just there, you know. So you have a severe headache, your vision is suddenly blurry, go and get it checked. It could be a sign of what we call papilledema, which is swelling at the back of the, uh, an inflammation at the back of the eye. It needs to be checked right away. Also, there are times when patients come in, they say uh, you experience like a sudden loss of vision. If you're 18 to 45 years old and you start noticing sudden loss of vision, it could be in one eye or it could be in the other eye, most, like, most times in one eye. If that happens, 18 to 45 years old, uh, you find that you experience sudden loss of, uh, sudden loss of vision that could be uh, it could last a day uh, or even up to a week. It could be hours. Do not take it for granted. Sudden loss of vision combined with uh, weakness and numbness in the extremities is most likely a case of uh, optic neuritis. And multiple. It's, uh, that is an indication that you might be ha having uh, multiple sclerosis. So it should be checked right away. Go to your eye doctor or go to your family doctor and have them refer you. Most likely you'll need to do like a, a, an MRI and a couple of other tests to rule, to rule out uh, optic uh, neuritis. It's very important. Then another one that could be a big problem, sometimes you find like in one eye, the eye starts to budge out more than the other one. What it means is that uh, something is compressing, there's a mass compressing the, bow, the globe from behind. It is an emergency and also needs to be checked. Then, there are also cases where you find like sudden loss of vision, my last love, maybe like 5-10 minutes. 
patients tend to take it for granted that okay, it's, uh, it only happened. Uh, it didn't, uh, it did, thank God, it didn't last uh, longer than that, or maybe it just happened and they take it for granted. Big problem. It could be, and it, but when you have sudden loss of vision, it means the blood supply to the eye was cut off at the point. So there's no oxygen coming to the eye, and this can lead to damage to the nerve in the eyes. So it's just, that is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is similar to what we call um, a stroke, because what it means is that you just had a stroke in the eye, or we call it transient uh, ischemic attack, TIA. So whenever you're faced with any of these situations, go to, your, go to the emergency or go to your family doctor or your eye doctor right away. Let them refer you to the appropriate um, uh, quarters. The same if, uh, if you have uh, uh, what, the word I just said, which is the TIA or uh, a mini stroke in the eye, it has to be taken care of within 24 to 48 hours. Just like any stroke in the body, the blood supply has to be checked. Because sometimes what happens in that mini stroke case is um, something is blocking the blood supply. It could be like an embolus or maybe like a cholesterol plaque. And uh, suddenly is able to get through, then uh, is able, the blood system is able to push it through, then blood goes through the sides, and uh, you have oxygen supply again. But that does not mean the situation has been taken care of. The, the, uh, the plaque might still be there. So it's very important to have it checked. And also, your family doctor will also have to uh, have you checked for uh, uh, other blood uh, uh, capillaries or blood supply system in the body. So that that way it doesn't end up, uh, you don't end up with a major stroke later on. So it is very important when you have uh, something like this to uh, go to your family doctor or your eye doctor immediately. It is very, it's very important. These are conditions that uh, needs to be addressed within 24 hours. It's an emergency situation. Even if you walk into the uh, hospital and tell them this is what you're experiencing, they will call whoever is the ophthalmologist on call, to come and take a look at you. So like I said before, anytime there's a sudden loss of vision, with or without pain, most of these things that I just talked about, they don't come with pain. So if you have sudden loss of vision and there's pain in the eye, we say with eye, when you try to move your eyes around, it tells you that there's imminent danger. It should be checked right away. So with or without pain, sudden loss of vision, go get it checked. It doesn't matter if it only lasted for one minute or two, or it lasted for one day and you don't get it again for a long period. It is still very important to have it checked. At least know what caused it. And um, in most cases, the doctors might be able to advise you better on how to either prevent reoccurrence or in a case, of, in a case where it reoccurs, what to do. So I guess uh, this is my little take on it today. And uh, if you think you've learned one or two things from this video, please share. You don't know who will um, benefit from it. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you.